Hey everybody, this is Drew with Acoustic Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're going to be showing you guys a coin show story, but in a different way. We actually filmed a, a really interesting coin that we found a while back, uh, about four or five months ago. And now it's finally coming to fruition, and we wanted to share this video with you guys. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments below, but let's get this video started. This is Drew with Acoustic Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, we just got this beautiful um, 1881S Morgan Silver Dollar in. Um, we actually found it at the White Settlement Show uh, this past weekend. It's probably one of the most beautifully toned Morgan Dollars I've ever held in my hand. Um, but let me give you guys a quick look at it. Um, here's this 1881S uh, MS63. The most common date, uh, but like I said, the color is really uncommon. Um, and so, uh, when I went up to a table this weekend, um, so he just put it out, and uh, I was like, can I take a look at that coin? You know, uh, most of the time, when you get the good deals at a show, it's going to be uh, when they just buy a collection, and also when they just set the coin out for the first time. So, uh, they put a sticker on it, set it out, um, and when they set it out, it was, wasn't even facing my direction as far as buying. Um, but I was like, hey, can I take a look at that? I really like to uh, check it out. So the dealer's son actually picked it up and said, hey, what do you think of it? And um, they offered it to me for $182. And I was like, yes. So I handed them the cash. Um, it really made the trip. Um, someone called us lucky for uh, finding a coin like this. And there is a, a partial amount of luck to it. Um, but what I would also say is that I've been to so many different shows and I've been hammering out looking for stuff on eBay and um, driving and just constantly asking people for new uh, inventory. And then when something finally arises, it's kind of like you stepped out up to bat every day. You continue to invest your time, energy, um, blood, sweat, and tears sometimes uh, to find a coin that's really amazing and really is a great deal. And so... Um, what I would say is that, yes, things in the coin space are lucky, um, but I would also say that uh, you have to put in a lot of effort to find something that is worth it for you or for your customers. And so uh, this show really paid off for us, and we're very thankful. Um, but let me go upstairs and show you guys exactly what we found and a few other things um, that we got in this week just to kind of add more uh, flavor to the uh to this episode and kind of give you guys a little bit of a perspective of what we've been finding and uh, what we've been selling. So let's go up there and do it. Alrighty guys, so we just made it up to the light box. I wanted to show you guys this really amazing, beautiful 1881S Morgan Silver Dollar that's toned. But let me get it out for you guys. So, a little bit of backstory. We bought this at the show, like I said today, and we actually received an offer of thirty-five hundred dollars for this coin. And uh, you know what we said? We said no. You know why? Because uh, from our perspective, uh, we've been spending a lot of money. We've been getting a lot of money in. We've been doing a lot of coin sales. People think we're crazy for turning down that number, and I think we partly are too. But this coin is, um, if you study toning and if you're familiar with the toning space, um, sometimes it's good to hold things back that you really love and enjoy. And uh, my brother, when we, we saw this coin today, um, he works with me a lot. And so I wanted to, uh, you know, ask his opinion. And we, like when we, when we received that offer, um, it kind of blew us away. Um, the guy that we... Uh, that we were talking to, he's a really nice guy, a big guy in the community, um, but it wasn't the right time for us. Um, people always say, uh, 
keep the best and sell the rest. And so that's going to be kind of a mantra for this video today. Um, if you enjoy something enough, um, money isn't going to be an issue for you. Um, and so, uh, like I said, uh, we, we have this philosophy kind of on money. And um, I don't know if you guys share the same uh, perspective. But the, kind of, the question I would ask for you guys is, is your money worth more uh, today or tomorrow? And um, we've, had, we've been tossing around that question a lot lately. And the question would be also, is this coin worth more today or tomorrow? And how about the future in that case as well? And so what we've learned and what we've thought is that money is going to be worth less tomorrow than it is today. And the coins were going to be worth more tomorrow than they were today. And so as part of our investment portfolio, we don't talk about this too much on the channel. But I want to give you guys a unique perspective on it. I'm showing this coin off a lot. But um, our investment portfolio is silver, gold, and lead. And also stocks and other stuff like that. And uh, ever since doing coins, I'm actually going to show you guys a little bit of uh, a, the other coin that I actually own. I only own two coins, actually. Um, this is going to be my second one. But... Uh, we we focus on many different things in terms of investments, and what I realize is that cash is dil is being diluted in terms of its value, and uh, coins are going to be constantly on the rise. And a coin like this doesn't come by too often. Uh, like I said, I told you what we paid. We paid one hundred eighty-two dollars, and that's that's uh, giving it away. Um, this coin's really amazing, super beautiful. Uh, people, like I said, are going to think I'm crazy. And I think I'm, I think I'm crazy too. But uh, let me show you guys the other coin and kind of give you guys a backstory on me and um, about how I feel about kind of the hobby and where I started in all this. And then it might give you guys a clearer picture. But let me guys show you guys the first coin and the other coin that I own. Uh, you see, might have seen in a few other videos. This is the 1889 end of roll Morgan dollar. Um, just an immensely beautiful coin and when I started selling coins I actually uh, only had five Morgan dollars in my collection and I didn't have anything in terms of, of money uh, to keep buying coins um, I was a college student the pandemic just started and I wanted to own uh, this beautiful coin right here this coin in particular and so I sa sought out to look for it I spent I think at least six to eight months looking for this coin, maybe a little bit longer, maybe a whole year. And I asked around and I asked around and I asked around and uh, I finally got it um, from a guy. Um, his name's Gary. He helped me out with this. Uh, we got it reholdered and got the true view for it. Um, but the whole purpose of this video is that, uh, you know, I worked very hard uh, to get where we are in terms of buying and selling. And, um, I've sold coins in the past for a dollar amount and that dollar amount just sits in my account uh, It has no memory to it. It has no recollection. It's just it's just a value that has been borrowed by our government or our bank and um, It has no value to me um, personally and uh, the dollar amount um, I guess that's associated with the human being isn't too important for my uh, for my sake so like you know if I sold, like, if I sold this coin uh, per chance, so if I sold this coin and I made thirty three hundred bucks, right? The thirty three hundred bucks really wouldn't make change any of my perspective. Um, it wouldn't ch enhance my life in any way. Um, and so, with a combination of everything that's going on in terms of the devaluing of our currency, but also just the the perspective of the amount of money in your bank account doesn't matter. Um, what should matter is the process of you building something that's unique in perspective in terms of a business or your life or your family. All those things are important. And so when I first bought this coin right here, I, like I said, it kind of got what got me into coins and selling. And now it's been a, a, even a bigger building process. And I wanted to add something to this, my collection that is something very superior to this coin and so when I found this coin today I talked to my brother about it and he said keep this coin you're gonna love it and so 
what I would say to anybody out there that um, that I'm talking to or administering to in terms of knowledge or information, uh, you know, find something that you enjoy doing, um, and even if it turns into a business for you or it turns into something that it takes labor and makes you a profit, also take some time to set back things for yourself. Um, keep keep the doors open in terms of uh, uh, not only selling stuff but collecting stuff also because that's truly important in the hobby because um, small beginnings are important. This is what got me into collecting and selling and um, it's evolved into something like this coin right here and so uh, this is a small story in the coin community um, that many people won't hear but it's important that I wanted to tell you guys and so I hope you guys understand that um, this coin community is important to all of us and I think that uh, we all have a, a unique perspective in the space and I think that we're all collectors at heart and so today was a, a wonderful day um, because I was able to add something to my collection and it wasn't of a monetary gain or it wasn't of uh, kind of the perspective of enhancing my my wealth but rather a step in the right direction in terms of coming back to the collecting side while also running a, um, a mildly successful coin business as well and so I hope you guys take away something from this video I appreciate you uh, watching this part and letting me show you guys uh, my beautiful uh, two Morgan coin collection so thank you guys hey guys I hope you enjoyed today's video um, it really came from the heart I wanted to really show you guys exactly what um, what got me into coin collecting, what got me into being a coin dealer, and kind of what it's evolved uh, to be. Um, and so I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, could you please leave a like? Um, also, comment kind of what you learned from uh, the coin community, what you or your passion is inside of the space. And if you guys would like to, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. We're trying to make uh, three videos a week. Um, showing you guys fresh coins that we get in and giving our unique perspective as coin dealers and as hopefully distant friends. So, hope you guys have a great rest of your night. This has been Drew with Acoustic Collectibles, and I'll see you in the next one.